Pardon me. Sorry, I'm fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This broadcast is not, in fact, brought to you by store brand potato chips. Broadcast is definitely not sponsored by Medic America Farms Top the Tater. This uh, this broadcast is sponsored by eating my feelings, trying my best to not overcarb myself. No, I actually kind of liked it, sort of side swipey. I don't. Know. This broadcast is sponsored by going through it and getting through it the best way we can. We're just doing the thing the best we can every day, y'all. And that is what I, too, am doing. I did not, in fact, brew a brand new pot of coffee at one o'clock in the morning just so that I could put some Baileys in it. I didn't. And I'm proud of myself for that. I did not. Uh, I did try to use that dip powder on my other hand. One nail out of five looks halfway decent. They were supposed to be chrome. They are not. So I'm guessing, guess I'm just going to have to leave an Insta review on Temu about that. But uh, yeah, it's been... Uh, <laughs> It's been a day of wanting to eat my feelings. It's been a day of an evening of wanting to go back into the kitchen and devour every last scrap of rice aroni that was left from dinner. I had a really healthy dinner last night. And uh, tonight, I was really tempted to do a lot of very unhealthy things. So here I am. But I'm getting through it. I'm trying to be strong. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to behave myself. And uh, so I had a little, little bit of chips and dip. Sweat it, Denver Steva. Um, if you're out there lurking. And I got through the day. So, judging from the looks of things in the chat, you guys did too. And that makes me pretty happy. So let's, let's say some hellos. There's Kim D. Hi. Hey, girl. Good to see you. What the hell is happening? I had cr practically crawled all the way inside a potato chip bag. I was really ready to strap the thing to my face like a feed bag. Not going to lie. Hello, Kimberly. Good to see you. First one with them out. Very nice. Hey, hey, says Jen. Good to see you. Here's Barb. Hi, ho. Good to see you, Daniel McClellan. Good to see you. I think with all the L's in your name, I'm just gonna say it like that from now on. Unless you really hate it, then tell me to stop, and I will. I'm really annoying. 
There's Miss, what is it? Upstate Savage Carolina. Something like that. Upstate Carolina, South Carolina, Savage. I, what? Hi, Susan P. Good to see you. Miss By God, Georgia. Hi. Hi, Miss Sunrise the one. At first, I thought you were hyperventilating and breathing into the bag. No, honey. No, I was just grazing. Tambor June is here. Ms. North by God, Georgia. Daniel Sander is here. Marla Dillard is here. Ms. Ekblama is here. Joanne Rice is here. Good to see you. Goosebump801. Hi. Welcome. Welcome back. Maya, hello, ma'am. Let's see. No, I'm not frozen. It's not quite cold enough yet for that. Tommy appreciated the Q support idea. It was not mine. I didn't come up with it. Can't take credit. I just promoted it in here because I think it is a fantastic idea. And then I forgot to do it my own self. Derp. All right. Gizmo's at the vet tonight. Good. Good. And Casillas, hello. Good to see you. Ref refereed some college men's tennis and I am tired. I guess I guess I uh, don't blame you for that. I would be too. There's Ms. Kyra McAllister. Ann Hummingbird, good to see you. Gretchen only. Hey girl. Did you did you catch the very beginning of this? I hope so. Uh care for JC. Hello. Good evening. Uh, what Q support idea? If you look through the chat and you notice that a lot of people have changed their profile pictures to have some sort of a Q in them. Um, and uh, that was the idea of one of the other people. It was Misha in the chat, awakened by the looking glass reflection. Um, they came in last night and gave us a whole uh, pile of options from which to choose that we could download and change our profile pictures so that when we popped in on the uh on the lifeboat then tommy could see that we had all changed our and tommy and mama q could see that we had changed our profile pictures to q's um and you know what because i think it's still in my uh clipboard Yeah, it was Misha. Um, yeah, there it is. So Goosebump801, if you look down in the chat, I just popped the link in there so you can go and download whichever you choose. Um, and I think it's a fantastic idea. And he did say tonight during Reese's live that he uh, he really dug that. Good morning, Ms. Blama. And yeah, TGIF, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, gentles and ladymen, cheers. Yeah, he did really notice it on his live with Reese tonight. And I think it's fantastic. I It definitely was not my idea, but I am happy to promote it because a good idea is a good idea no matter who comes up with it. And this is going to drive me a little crazy. Yeah, my bangs are making me nuts tonight. They're a little too long. I, I am not kidding. I have scissors in my hand right now. Um, I will twim, trim those bitches blind. I will do it. I've been known to do it before. That's why they're so uneven, because I just grab a chunk of them and, like, snip. Um, but, yeah, you were asking 
Tamber June, how the nails went. These are supposed to be chrome. That's not chrome. That's not chrome. That's not chrome. That one's not chrome. That's not chrome, but that's the shiniest of the bunch. I think a bit of vodka might be in order too, Marlon Dillard, but I don't have any. Hooray! Yep, I'm out. I am out. All out of the Vodak, which gives me a sad. But I have chips and dip. And I have keto Pop-Tarts. Who did what? Care for JC. Yay, caught up. They're not melted enough yet. I'm sorry, Summer. Oh, my nails? Me. I did that. I was playing with the chrome dip powder. It's supposed to be chrome dip powders that I got from Temu. And uh, they turned out not to be chromey at all. And also, hi, Brian Lucas. Good to see you. Um, it also, I mean, I had to do a lot of washing and scraping and everything else because really it looks like it was done by somebody, uh, with severe motor skills challenges. Like this hand, I can do just fine. This hand is, uh, this is the, the weird Barbie pink sort of thing. This one is kind of a taupey sort of mauve sort of thing. And then these two are what was supposed to be a chrome paint. I did it on my pinky, too. It's not chrome. It's shiny-ish, but it's not chrome. Hello, Cinderella's glass slipper. Good to see you. Um, and these, these are all dip polishes and these turned out pretty well, but that's because they're on my, uh, right hand and I'm left-handed. So whenever I try to do my left hand, it's recalculous. It looks like when I use regular paints, it just looked like I dunked my entire fingertips up to the first knuckle into a bucket of paint. Um, the black is pretty, Tambor June. I agree. You like my left thumbnail? The silver? It's got a weird texture to it that I don't really know how to feel about it. Because it looks more textury than it feels. Like, I've used... Um, nail polishes from is this one of the pixie dust no i've used nail polishes from zoya sorry i'm not trying to get everybody all up in my business um that are textured on purpose and they're called pixie dust and they're oh my this is my left, honey. This one, it's the same as my thumb. Yeah, that one was supposed to be chrome, but it's that. And it wound up not doing chrome. You're funny, Maya. Very funny. Um, 
I don't know how to do how to make a thumbnail. I just know how to grow them. And I can paint the one on this hand. Chrome powders work better over a gel polish. I've never been happy with any of the dip powders. I'm 100 hours from graduating as nail tech. Okay, the not so graceful swan. Well, you would probably know about that shit better than I would, wouldn't you? Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I like the Zoya Pixie Dust polishes because I like the texture that's built in. And um, I also like the the matte finish with a little bit of sparkle in it. That pleases me greatly. Um, but the dip powders that came with the kit, like the three different, three or four, it's, it's three different pinks and a white. And I like those. And those worked out really well. I was amazing. I was amazed with it. I'm like, holy crap, it actually works? I'll be goddamned. Um, yeah, the image, is the image reversed? Okay. Um, the matching thumb pinky color. Yeah, it's that, it's this guy that's supposed to be another chrome. I might be obsessed. Um, have I tried Dazzle Dry? Have I tried Dazzle Dry? Several of my card makers use it and it looks beautiful and durable. I haven't even heard about it. So I don't know. I don't know what it is, how it work, what it do. Hi, Artsy Tartsy. Good to see ya. You got St. Patty's Day nails? I did one in honor of St. Patty's Day. And I'm not doing this to flip you the bird, but I figured if this stuff is going to last as long as it says it does may as well do one in green so that i'm prepared for next week and nobody can get up my ass about saying maybe 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 may wear your green blow me south Pauls unite damn right <laughs> that rhymed um Good to see you, Artsy Tartsy. There's Dawn Gloves. Hello. Good to see you. Yep. Summer Savage. Too stoned. Can't type. Several years ago, Sally Hansen had a chrome line and they were gorgeous. Okay. I can get behind that. Summer Savage is a Southpaw too. She wants to let us know. And she is not just a Southpaw. She is a Southern Southpaw. Chrome powder comes separately and you put it on with a makeup applicator before you wipe off the sticky layer. Cure under a UV and you're good to go. See, I'm, I'm trying to do the no UV thing. If I can. If I really want chrome, I might have to go and have somebody else do my nails. I have so much nail polish, you guys. And in other news again, yes, we saw that. You're starting a channel, The Inappropriately Helpful Kid Whisperer. That ought to be interesting. So a lot of card creators' channels are ex-nail techs, and they rave about it. Okay. I'll have to look it up. I have no idea. I've never heard about it. The only other dip powders I've heard of is, like, red carpet and some shit that they advertise on Instagram. Uh... This broadcast is not sponsored by Red Carpet Manicure Dip Powders. Yeah. 
I'm trying. I'm trying to get better, y'all. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to use up some of this nail polish. I have so much stinking Zoya nail polish, I can't even tell you. Because when they came out with their Pixie Dust line, I was obsessed. And they used to do a thing. I don't even know if they do this anymore. But Zoya, at the beginning of every year, would do a thing where if you sent them X number of bottles of regular nail polish that had all the harmful crap in it, they would send you the same number of bottles of their nail polish and all you had to pay was shipping. And then they would dispose of it in a responsible, the stuff that you sent them in a responsible way. And this is like, five free or seven free or something it's free of a number of different harmful chemical craps and things and stuff so uh i love zoya i love their stuff i love their um their nail polish remover is the only shit that works for me and it takes off everything shimmer nail polish Sparkly nail, but full on straight up glitter. It does it. Takes it right off. And I love the dispenser that it comes in because it's the one that says pump, pump, pump with the cotton pad. And then you can do the thing. So, yeah. Love it. I love Zoya's nail polish remover. And I love their, their polishes. Good. I'm not the only one. Cinderella's glass slipper. Always screw up nail polish when I'm painting my dominant hand nails with my non-dominant hand. Always. Yes. Same. Same. And trying to have some kind of coordination working with suboptimal dip powder in containers that are too short to stick your whole finger in. And trying to brush and and thing and tap. It was not pretty, y'all. Gretchen only is a southpaw. Fantabulous. All right. What's going on with Gizmo? The vet also said Gizmo is having neurological issues. His right side is weak and he can't hold his head up. Whatever's going on has gotten either into his spine, brain, or both. That sucks miss sunrise dawn and i'm very sad to hear about that that stinks but i'm glad it's not fip i just i just use pure acetone but you can't buy it at the regular store fair can you get it at sally I wonder if you can get it at Sally. I have a distinct memory memory of my first grade teacher pulling my pencil from my left hand and putting it in my right as if I was using it wrong. Oh, you know, a lot of people have gone through that. And every time I hear about it, I get angry again. It just makes me mad. It sucks. Rosaling, hello. Good to see you. Daniel Sander is totally clueless on this subject, and I'm not sure which subject it is. It could be potato chips, it could be nail polish, it could be nail polish remover, or it could be having a dominant hand. I'm not sure. It is tough to get clear edges. Yes. Yes, it is. I can't do nail art on my non-dominant hand either. I hate it. I can't do nail art full stop. So, you know, you're doing better than I am. Sally has acetone. Thank you. 
Thanks, he started him on another antibiotic today, and when I got him out from under the bed to give him his meds, I really thought he was dead. He was barely breathing. Lord in heaven have mercy. All right, well, I, I hope the best for him, whatever that may be. Nope, you need a Cosmo license? Well, I mean, we do have a Cosmo prof, and I do have a couple of friends who have Cosmo licenses, so I can probably... I can probably make that uh, make that happen. You like green and purple? Me too, Summer Savage. Dip powders sound like insanity to me. They sounded so stinking weird, but it is some kind of alchemical madness. And it friggin' works. I was like, this is some bullshit. There's no way that you you put on a sticky coat and then you stick your nail in the thing and then you pull it out and you tap off all the excess and you brush off all the excess and then you put on another sticky coat maybe if you want and you and you dip it in there again and then you brush off all the all the and then you brush on another thing and you let it sit and you do another coat of the other thing, and that's supposed to activate the powder. And then you put the top coat. And it comes out like that. Like, I look at my nail. And I'm like, does that... It looks like one of those, one of those cards that has all the little fake nails on it with all the different colors. That's what this looks like. I painted on that first coat and I was like, of, of top coat. And I was like, what the shit is this? What sorcery has just happened on my fingertip? I don't understand it. And the, this stuff, the liquid that's on the, the thumb and the pinky has already started chipping, was chipping within 24 hours, as a matter of fact. Um, but these three? Not a drop. Everything is perfect on them. It's really weird. I don't understand. I don't understand anything. Yep, it literally rewires a kid's brain. Yeah, that's messed up. Ooh, shout out for sour cream and onion. See, this, this shit right here, Gretchen only, you know what I'm talking about. I can't, I know it's backwards for you to read, but you know what I'm talking about. This is Top the Tater. And if you grew up in Scani, you know what I'm talking about. It's the only place that you can get it is up here in the upper Midwest. The only place. Well, Sally only sends a percentage, not pure 100%. Well, I do want to keep my fingertips attached. But I think that I have heard that acetone is the only thing that will take off this dip powder stuff. Very nearly slapped a teacher for doing that to my daughter when she had fallen and broken her left wrist. Yeah. Y'all know I want chips. Kara, hi, honey. Um, yeah, I bet. I bet you do. Because I had the chip bag attached to my face when this video started. So, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Not sorry. I mean... I could say, no, have some healthy, healthy roasted seaweed snacks instead. But that package is unopened because I know what choice I made. Carby, delicious carbs. Vet said he seemed to perk up a little bit with some IV fluids. Good. Acetone at Ace Hardware, I think. 
I had a book when I was a very small girl called Miss Piggy's Guide to Life. And one of her rules was never buy beauty products or cosmetics or something in a hardware store. And I kind of held to that to this day. I write right-handed because of the, it's evil to be left-handed. So I can write with both and bowl right, play pool and crochet left. Mama made me ambidextrous. Uh-huh. Yep. You can get acetone at Home Depot. Very nice. Got to get me those chips for the poker game. Mmm, delicious. I slept for 12 hours, y'all, and just woke up an hour ago. That's fantastic. Good for you. I slept for maybe four hours. Yeah, I didn't sleep worth a tin dam last night. I love me some dip powder, says Rosaline. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It is alchemy, right? It's just, it's so weird. None of it makes sense. Let me have my dream. It's alchemy. Sorcery. That nail looks great to me. Thanks, Anne Casillas. It does sound like sorcery, Cinderella's glass slipper. It doesn't make any sense to me. I bit my nails like crazy till only a few years ago. I mess up nail polish on both hands. On the occasions I take the leap of faith and try it, that is. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I didn't bite them. I peeled them. I would... I would pair them off. It took me a long time to get over that. That was my entire childhood. I did that. You get props for even trying with your nails. I just don't even bother. Fair enough. I go in, in stages. It's weird, but no matter how much anxiety I have for leaving my house, Maya says, if my dog needs to go to the vet, I cannot get out of the house fast enough. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I do believe apologies are in order. Scott apparently got my phone when I wasn't looking last night and said horse shit on the stream. That was not me, y'all. I'm very confused by this. If I saw it, I wasn't upset by it. So trolling fail on Scott's part. Do better, Scott. I think there's a way to flip your display on Restream, but I don't remember where I saw it. It's in settings somewhere. It probably is. It probably is. But, you know, at least here, I'm comfortable. Find the fishies. Eat the fishies. I love the fishies because they're so delicious. I love seaweed. Used to buy it by the case. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It is tasty stuff. And those roasted seaweed snacks were on, they were on sale for hella cheap. So I was like, yep, mom, these are coming home from the grocery store with us. And there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. Well, crap, now I have to go to Hoth because I need those pickles and the dip now. Yeah, this dip is, it's something else. You'll, you'll never go back to hell of a good or whatever the shit chip dip you're eating. It's a totally, it's, it, it'll be a new religion for you. 
Kara, you are not wrong. He sneezes to shake the world and says horse shit? Never wear yellow makeup. Never eat more than you can lift. You had the same book, I think. Hello, noble savage. Seaweed belongs in the sea, not in my mouth. Okay, good. You know what that means. More for me. Seaweed belongs in my mouth. It belongs wrapped around fishies. It belongs um, made into masks and put on my face. Seaweed. Seaweed's amazing. Seaweed is versatile and delightful. And when you roast it with a little bit of sea salt, it's delicious. Yep. Yep. Tasty, tasty. Yum, 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 yum. Amy Lee SP. Oh, hi. Good to see you. My brother says there's always a couple of fish or idiots who are ripe for the taking. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yep. Phone died while you were taking the dog potty, Barb. Okay. Oh, by the way, I found and have acquired a pattern for that swear blanket in crochet. Couldn't find it in knit form. Damn bit. Well, lost. I was a peeler too. Peelers unite. I had a very progressive kindergarten teacher, says Mark Hardman. She would demonstrate using a pencil right-handed and then took the extra time to teach me left-handed. God bless the teachers that care. Damn straight. For a while after my accident, I couldn't use my arms. Had to sign my name with an X in the hospital. But with therapy and time, I got the use of my left arm back and most of my right. But doing a lot more with my left now. And right with my right. Very nice. Sorry, I meant to sp say dip powder is unexplainable magic. I have no idea how it works. Thank you. Thank you. See, that's what I thought. Magic. Absolute magic. You stayed in contact with her until she passed away. You're a good man, Mark Hardman. Amy Lee SP, are you still here? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't horse shit rather mild for this chat? That is true. John Johans, hi, good to see you. You do like things to get real spicy, Daniel Sander. I know you do. Don't give me none of that mild stuff. Oh, you're not allowed to lift anything, so that's scary. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, that was that was me after my hysterectomy. Wasn't allowed to lift anything, couldn't stand upright, and... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, you wanted that daily Miralax because, woo, otherwise. Kind of late in the conversation, but I tried that dip powder cricks and it didn't work for me either. Some of it has, though. That's the thing, is that some of it really has. It's just the chrome ones have really sucked. And I mean, it's possible that I just don't know what the crap I'm doing. And I was doing it on my non-dominant hand. There's a lot of possibilities here. But personally, I think it's suboptimal powder. And I think that it's in tiny little containers that you can't stick the whole tip of your finger in. Um, get what you pay for. 
you know. So I got crappy dip powder, but I also got some good dip powder and I got about 50 of these little guys. Little tiny ducks. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Aw, Kara McAllister, thank you so much for your super chat. I appreciate that. Go! Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I know there was one thing I was looking for. Goosebump is getting ready to leave. You shouldn't leave quite yet. Thinking about it now, if you can do some sort of raised stitch and knitting, the pattern would still work. Stitch count would be the same. All right. I'm sure I can. It's just a, a difference between knits and pearls. That's all the difference. But right now, Goosebump, before you go, I think it's time for night meds. Take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds. Time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time. A snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Sip first so the melatonin doesn't stick. I see you, Ann Casillas, doing those jazz hands in the chat. Even though it just says hand pink waving, hand pink waving, hand pink waving. That's funny. He's smaller than a peep. Care for JC. He's only little. She. Ducky. Anyway, is only little. And uh, I have a lot of them. Just not in that bag. I have a lot of them. A lot of rubber duckies. So tiny. So dainty. Oh, I'm sorry, Maya. I didn't mean to wake your dog up. Oh, it's so little. Yep. Sorry, Maya's dog. Yeah, so now I have a flotilla, an armada, if you will, of tiny rubber duckies. What are we doing with all the ducks? Well, I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. So... They were born right next to Jesus. I've seen that video of the donkey playing with his rubber chickens, Marla Dillard. It's a delightful video. I love that video. Um, there's a thing. What am I going to do with all of these ducks? See, yeah, Daniel Sander doesn't want to know what we're doing with them. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these ducks yet, but I have a lot of them. And it's kind of fitting 
that Serge is now calling all the adult cyanologists ducks. So I figure I can probably get some mileage out of that. Um, but see, there's a thing that people do on cruise ships. Also, I got this little hair tie so I can wrap it around my ponytail and it looks like my ponytail has eyes. Why am I allowed on Temu? Because I needed to get things like gardening gloves with claws, which are important because we've got a lot of garden and a lot of digging to do in it. Um, and I needed ducks and I also needed, um, you would buy bags of them for the pool. I, yeah, I thought they would be bigger. Honestly, artsy tartsy story of my life. Um, that's what he said. Um, so there's a thing that people do on cruises, right? They get a bunch of ducks that are usually a little bit big. They're bigger, not a whole lot bigger, but probably about twice this size. And what people do is they take them and they tie a little tag on it that says, oh, what luck, you found a duck. And they tell you that you can either keep it or you can hide it somewhere else. They put these tags on them, usually with the name of the person that, that hid them the person that brought them and then they go and they hide them all over the ship so if you're walking through a ship and you see a random rubber ducky like on a picture frame or on a railing or by the hand sanitizer it's yours grab it oh what luck you found a duck some of them will ask you to put a thing in um to scan a QR code and, and tell them if you're, if you take the duck home, tell it where the duck is going. Um, some of them have a website. Um, they're doing all, they're, there's all kinds of stuff, right? But this is a thing that cruisers do. It's not just a thing that Jeep owners do to each other. They'll leave a rubber duck on your Jeep, apparently, if they really like your Jeep. And I just learned about that like a month ago. Um, but cruisers do this. I've been finding ducks on cruise ships for years. And apparently when you hold the duck by its little head, and you lift it up and just tap it on the desk, they do that. Now I know. Sorry. Sorry, Maya's dog. Um, it is a good idea, but these are a little small for my purposes. So of course I was rolling through Temu today because they text me incessantly, rat bastards. Um, and I got fish to feed, you know, if you know, you know, is that a hair in my glasses? Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hair in my glasses. Dear Liza, a hair. Yes. G boners, Kara McAllister. G boners. That's what G-Dragon has when he gets real excited. He gets a Jeep owner. Uh, Jeep owners. Give each other docs. Glue them all to a t-shirt and wear it to the fancy night or to prom. 
I could do that. I could put them all on a string and trail them behind me. Those, those could be my OSA operatives. That's kind of funny, actually. That's, that's very funny. Um, but that is why I originally bought the ducks. It's just that they turned out to be smaller than I had thought that they would be. Um, so now with every batch of ducks that I purchase from Temu, I have to look at the measurements of the ducks. Important note for Temu, always double check the sizes. Keeping my duckies in a line. You like the string thing and casillas? Yeah, I do too. Now there's, okay, I gotcha. Rogue hair. Um, Serge called them that because before Confident Chris got beat up, he called them little duckies all the time. Okay. And then Serge just picked it up. I knew that they were calling them little duckies. And I knew that the night that Confident Chris got beat up, he said that he was ducky hunting. He was hunting for duckies. Um, yeah, so it's kind of amusing that that, you know, my, my worlds collide like that. Um, Mark Hardman coming in with the cruise question of the night. Any rec recommendations for avoiding international roaming charges on our cell phones? Yes, put it in airplane mode. If you don't have an international plan on your phone, um, depending on your carrier, like I have international day pass on my line because I have to, in my line of work, I have to be able to go on land, take my phone off of airplane mode and catch Pokemon, um, uh, make business calls and check my voicemail and stuff like that. So, um, I have to have international day plan on my phone. Um, and that's something that you can have turned on and then turned back off again at the end when you're, when you're done with it, when you get back home, but it depends on your carrier. You want to talk to your carrier and see what they offer, tell them where you're going, make sure those places are covered and um, just kind of prepare, prepare that there's going to be the, um, there is an extra charge for international day plan when you use it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, um, prepare for those extra charges to have a, a somewhat higher phone bill than normal when you get back. But when you're on the ship and we're at sea, keep the phone in airplane mode. It's the easiest way to do it. Plus the way that you access the ship's Wi-Fi. Um, so that, that makes it also even more easy to remember to put your phone back on airplane mode because once it's in airplane mode, then you can access the ship's Wi-Fi and the hub app and, um, you know, the, the passenger to passenger chat, if you want to have that turned on, um, which is available for a nominal fee, but I found it to be relatively useful. I used to paint rocks and leave them at gas pumps for people to find. My favorite ones were when I live in Humboldt County, California, I would write, you've been stoned in Humboldt. Nice. Nice. I love that. I love that sort of guerrilla fun, you know, random acts of chaos. I love being a chaos agent. I carry literally a tackle box of different sizes of googly eyes in my purse at all times. I don't leave the house without it. It is always with me because sometimes you need them and you never know you're going to need them until you need them. What tone level are the ducks? I would have to ask a professional about that. 
I would have to ask an expert, someone who knows. They look a little downtone to me, or at least this one does. This one looks a little downtone. Oh, hostility going on there. Yes, confident Chris gets claim to fame for little duckies. Totally wouldn't do this, this serious business face. Do serious business. But also catch Pokemon. I mean, plus the fact that, I mean, if you catch them from far away and you bring them back here, and you collect eggs far away, and then you bring them back here. You can get stuff from different regions, and you can get stuff from, like, you know, Pokemon with a lot of miles on them. They make for a more valuable trade. The duckies are DM-sized, you know? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. My mother paints rocks with holiday themes and leaves them on hiking trails. And people always take them home. Aw, that's nice. I have a bag of 100 googly eyes. And I collect rubber duckies. Oh, 1,000 googly eyes. That's better. Are we related? And I collect rubber duckies. Are we related? Anything's possible. Anything at all. Purse. Band-Aids. Davy. The Tackle Box of Chaos. This lives in my purse. You just never know. <coughs> you never know when you're going to need something like that. And I'm that kind of asshole. Who will vandalize things in like the grocery store. Always have them with me. Have to. Have to. Because you never know when the urge to art is going to strike. I mean, seriously, Kara. Seriously. You get me. I put them on photos at friends and family's houses. Nice. I stayed at an Airbnb last summer. And they had a, a bunch of wildlife photos up in the bathroom. Behind glass. So I wasn't injuring anything. And uh, there was a, a photo of a moose. The moose got googly eyes. Because reasons. Yep. Absolutely. Joyful chaos. That's how I roll. That's what I do. Sometimes products in the grocery store need it. Sometimes I'll spot something at Home Depot that could be improved. Wally World. Target, like wherever, man. You never know when you're going to need them. The subway, like the actual subway when I was in New York. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta. So I do. It's lame.
Those icies don't sound good at all. Sorry, Summer Savage. I'm trying for you. Love it. They are a bare necessity. This is the truth. This is the damn truth. Aw. You want to be like me when I grow when you grow up. I wonder who I want to be like when I grow up. I haven't figured that out yet. I'll let you know. Hoping that adding more water, flavored, but water nonetheless, to the glass will help the ice cubes get their shit together and sound better, damn it. But uh, also, shall we partake? I think we should. See you, Marlene, y'all. Running low on vape juice. Got to pick that up tomorrow. Got to run a whole bunch of mom errands. And then I'm going to go over the bridge to Superior. And I'm going to meet Jill Bo Baggins. We're going to hang out. I'm going to have Mrs. Cricket's mom with me. I may or may not have Mr. Cricket's dad, stepdad, with me. I really love this ponytail holder, you guys. It's killing me. Little nose and everything. <sighs> Cracks me up. Everything at Homo Depot could be improved. I agree with you, Anne Hummingbird. Except our paint girl, uh, paint person, our paint person, they're, they're non-binary. I love our paint person at Homo Depot. I love it. I, I love that person. They're awesome. They're smart and, uh, they're very tolerant. Should be a great time in Superior. There aren't too many good times in Superior. Well, there's a lot of drunk times in Superior. Bars are open later over there because it's over in Wisconsin. Um, but the biggest challenge has been trying to find a place to meet up for a coffee. We love you right back, Ms. Summer Savage. Yes, for all 36 of you here, sleep sweet, Summer. Gretchen only says, when I walk into Home Depot, I love the smell of lumber. Is that normal? Yes. Now, if you're not in Home Depot and you suddenly smell pencil shavings or oranges, like orange peel, um, that might be a problem and you might want to go get checked out. If you are not in Home Depot or in a diner of any kind, and you start smelling burnt toast, also a reason to get checked out. Other than that, totally normal. Not a worry in the world. Why not meet in Duluth, Gretchen? That's a good question, too. Trying to, uh, pencil shavings do have a different smell. This is true, Gretchen. Um, well, there she is. Marty 
party girl. I'm so happy you're here. Did Kara leave yet? Kara, did you go to bed? Um, Marty girl is here. Marty girl, Kara McAllister would really like to speak with you. She feels like you may have uh, both had experiences with the same group in your past. And so I'm trying to find a way to get the two of you to connect, but I'm so glad that you're here. I've missed you. Also, has anybody heard from Creepy? I haven't heard from her. I tried to text her. I haven't heard. I knew that she had to have a procedure done, but I haven't heard from her. Now I'm worried. Am I going over the bridge to total superior? Similar to the bridge to total freedom, the bridge to total superior is an absolute lie because we, many of us actually refer to that town as inferior. Duluth sucks and superior is kind of worse. Why not meet in Duluth? That is a good question because I feel like um, I was trying to find a place to meet up for coffee that was going to be accessible and I'm not sure um, where downtown other than Duluth coffee and Duluth coffee is not only crowded AF, but it's also super expensive for a cup of coffee. I'm like, come on guys, just because you're a hometown, home roasted, all that stuff, like small business. I get it. I am here for it, but why you got to outprice Starbucks? Like, why? That's not necessary. So I'm trying to find some kind of place where we can hang out and figure it out. Karen McAllister, you're still here. And Marty Girl is still here. Now the two of you can, can chat. Hooray! I am with Dylan. Um, Dylan lived in Hibbing, but he did spend a significant amount of his boyhood here in Duluth. Actually, a friend of mine that I've known since I was five years old, her dad and uh, Mr. Zimmerman uh, grew up in the apartments next door to each other. Creepy was mentioned in Tommy's yeah, it was, it was me that actually asked about her or mentioned her and was asking for ones for her. Cat! OMG, I'm finally awake to catch you live. Cat, I'm so happy you're here. That's amazing. Hi, welcome. I would rather go to Total Superior than the fake bridge to freedom where you end up being driven cray-cray. Yeah, the bridge to inferior is just going to, the bridge to total inferior is just going to drive you to actual drink. More bars per capita in Wisconsin than like anywhere. Bless to crochet. Hello, Mary. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Still, Amy, I lived near Lincoln Park in Duluth for eighth grade. Very nice. Stinkin' Park. That's what we called it. But now, well, no, because we called the school Stinkin' Lincoln. But Lincoln Park, have you seen it these days? It's insane. They've revitalized the whole area. And there's all these restaurants now and cideries and breweries and it's it's madness it is absolute madness best ice cream in the city is that love creamery smack in the middle of lincoln park the the new lincoln parts park arts district or something they're calling it i don't know but it's crazy marty girl it would be cara McAllister.
Yeah, Cara McAllister. No, you spelled it correctly, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Um, you get that you were in the last year before they left that school? Yeah. No, the whole the whole area of the city, the whole neighborhood is crazy now. It's just bonkers. They've been um they've been doing so much work revitalizing that that part of town. They've got a an amazing smokehouse over there called OMC, which stands for Oink Moo Clock. They grow their own herbs. They do their own, all of their own. They smoke all of their meats right there. Um, their macaroni and cheese makes me drool. So good. So good. The food there. Um, Love Creamery is right across the street. There's uh, Hungry Hippie Tacos. There's Corktown Deli. There's a whole bunch of places out there. It's it's insane. It is absolutely insane. You won't recognize hardly anything along Superior Street if you come back. Jill Bo Baggins, the cat dragged you in, and Jazzy Girl Sarah. Creepy was mentioned again because I was asking after her. I know that she had to have something uh, taken care of last week or this week or something. And we haven't heard from her. So I'm just a little concerned. A little concerned. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's all. Jilbo. Good to see ya. Uh, what time? And Casilla, sweet dreams to everyone. Love to you all falling asleep. Okay. And Casilla, sleep sweet. Buenas noches. You tried looking on Google Earth and didn't recognize much in Duluth. Yeah. Yeah. Superior Street is crazy in the West End now. It's it's like from 19th Avenue West. It's it's insane. Um uh Cricket might be able to put in the link if she can remember how it's typed. Uh Artsy, would you do me the favor of typing the at for your channel name so that I, oh, there it is. Thank you. Don't miss the singing bridge. Have I seen Movo Studio? No, no, I have not. Tell me, please. Please do tell. All right. That should be it. Jazzy girl. Let's talk about. Oh, Herb. He was just like LRH. Um. That's the gym my stepdaughter manages. Oh, okay. Cool. I've never heard of it. I'm into fitness, whole bag of chips in my face. Not so much the other kind. Um, but I mean, do they have cool stuff? Like trapeze? or fun trampolines or something like that. That sounds like fun. Um, what time are we meeting tomorrow, Jilbo? You went and got ships, Kara. I don't blame you. I'm sitting here looking at this bag of chips and this container of dip like, mm-hmm. Um, 
so tech unsavvy. That's okay, artsy tartsy. I I barely figured out that. I mean, you guys can't put anything in, but I can type it in. The other thing too, artsy tartsy. If you remember, is that after the video, pop something into the comments, um, and just say that you're requesting. that you're requesting uh, subscribers, that you need subscribers. It's fine. You can do that. Um, and that way we'll be able to just click on your link on your profile picture. Susan P got chips too. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm a bad influence, folks. I, you know, it's just, that's that's how we do. Uh, dinner, like five. Okay. Um, are you still thinking the place that you mentioned? That's by you over in Soup Town. And I mean, if we're talking about dinner, there are other places that I can think of that are good. Um, but I haven't tried the place that we were talking about before. So, you know, I mean, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, girl. Every year, Lay's has a contest to come up with a new flavor. I think this group could come up with a winning flavor. I think we could too. Although some of the um, some of the fake Lay's bags that I've seen with like horrible flavor ideas have made me laugh so much that it hurt. It actively hurt. We're here for the bad influences. Nice. You're open to suggestions. All right, Jilbo. Uh, when was the last time you were up here? I guess is my first question. And do you have any dietary restrictions? Would be my second question. Yeah, I think we could come up with a winning flavor. We're kind of a hot mess of, of screaming id up in here by this time of night, honestly. Ketchup chips are awesome. See, I'm not sure how I feel about the ketchup chips, Marty girl, but the the toot garni, the all dressed, I love those things. Those things are good. And you can only get them up there in our nation's hat. No dietary restrictions. Okay, good. I like it, Jilbo. I like it. So like five-ish, no dietary restrictions. Hmm. Where could we go? Like, well, there is OMC over in Lincoln Park. That's delicious. Um, it is a Canadian thing. Oh my God. It wouldn't even have to be a Lay's Chips sponsorship. It could be an old Dutch Chips sponsorship because that is regional AF. And I eat the crap out of some old Dutch chips. The only reason that we have the store brand here today is uh, because that's what we had in the house. But normally, because all they had was, was uh, Super One was having a sale on old Dutch chips and all they had was the Ripple chips left and I can't eat the Ripple chips. So, meow. mustard on fries, pepper on fries, French fries, with pepper. We need poutine chips. We just need poutine. It's difficult to find down here. Jilbo says that we can get toot garni chips. We can get the all dressed. I am intrigued. Care for JC had pizza and a churro for dinner. Fair. Dark russet chips. I can only find them back east. I've never heard of them. 
ketchup and mayo mixed. Hmm. In the Twin Cities, they have them. Okay. Vinegar and salt and pepper on her fries. You know, I can get behind that, Jazzy Girl Sarah. Is it the malt vinegar? Okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. Where will we have dinner tomorrow? Miss Sunrise Dawn has never had poutine. It's amazing. It's amazing and it's delicious. And I'm kind of in love with it. Saturday night. Dull youth slash superior. Let me think on this. Let me think on this. I'll, I'll, salt and pepper popcorn. That's interesting, Gretchen. That's a fascinating idea. I haven't had salt and pepper popcorn. I am kind of a sucker for a for a white cheese popcorn kind of situation, like a smart food sort of thing. Um, and for popcorn, it's relatively uh, relatively low carb. Hey, Amy, you're hopping off? All right, sleep sweet, honey. Rest well. You thought poutine was something else? Well, see, there's poutine, the way that it's spelled in here, artsy-tartsy, and that's a, a French-Canadian Quebecois kind of thing. Um, but if, if you're thinking about poutine... Uh, P-O-T-E-E-N. That is like Irish moonshine. They sound very similar. They are completely different things. And you certainly do not want to get a whole big mouthful of one when you're thinking that you're getting the other. If you eat your way through a whole serving of Canadian poutine, you would likely still have your eyesight by the end of it. Whereas if you drank yourself an entire jar of Irish poutine, it's very possible that you would be blind. Stuff is no joke. Nope, still something else. I, I don't know what to tell you then, babe. I got nothing we go at 5 or 5.30, it shouldn't be too busy. Fair enough. Um, Acadian French, too. Okay. Are you thinking Boudin? Are you thinking, like, Boudin sausage? I just typed it in the chat. Maybe that's what you mean. You're cute, Daniel Sander. Your sister went to Ireland and had authentic poutine. They wouldn't serve me any. I was mad. I kept asking. Heaven knows I've got the tolerance for it. They wouldn't serve it to me. It's a little better. Pickle moonshine, Kara. I bet it does make good body marries. You've been hitting that Chardonnay. It is illegal in Ireland, but we were, we were hanging out in tiny little pubs in the middle of nowhere. Can only be made at home and is not regulated. Yeah, but they had it in the pubs. 
I, I see the correction, Kara McAllister, and I understand what you were saying in the first place, but I'm wondering um, if, if you've been hitting the Chardonnay or if that was just autocock rocket getting in your way. Because heaven knows we've had some pretty astonishing auto carrots up in here. Mm. It's uh, Irish poutine, uh, P-O-T-E-E-N. Yeah, spelled the way that I just put it in the chat. My sister got it because she was staying at a castle that had its own production. Other people in my party got to try it, but they wouldn't let me have any. Still mad about it. It was like 30 years ago. You plead the fifth? Okay, well. Cheers to you. Um. Hmm. Well, whoever said that we should take photos, we're going to. There will definitely be photos. Um, depending on where we go, I may, I'll have my phone with me. I'll make sure it's charged up. I may uh, pop on live, point the phone at Ms. Jilbo, and we'll wave at everybody and say hello and it's not like I have a tripod or a fancy setup or anything. So we're going to be rolling low tech, but, uh, that, that may be, that may be what happens if we're in a place that's quiet enough. And Jilbo's got her phone too. Good. Good. Um, yeah, boy, I got to think about where we could go. Where would be good? There's so much good food in Duluth now, which is weird, but it is. Um, yeah, just a short little live, just to pop on, say hi. Problem is, you know, I mean, at that time, who knows who else is going to be on live. Um, but between 5 and 5.30, if we just popped on while we were waiting for our snacks to come up, we could do that. Especially if the venue was quiet enough. Hi, Cody. Oh, Tavern on the Hill, Jilbo. You must be thinking Tavern on the Hill. We could go there. I've only been there once. What is your opinion on TikTok might be going away? I don't really know that I have an opinion. Um, I know that I don't know how to use it effectively or at all, really, to be honest. Um, but I know that it has been really influential in helping people get word out about all kinds of different stuff. So I think with that, unless people find something to take its place that's going to be just as effective, I think that it will be a loss to us. I, I find that people are really enjoying the creativity that it allows them. And I think that as a format, it kind of did for visual aspect what Vine wanted to do and what Twitter originally did with words. But then Twitter became shitter and yeah, 
So that's what I got. I don't really know. I am torn. Torn. There will be fewer people eating Tide Pods. Well, there is that. Yes, there will be, which means that there will be more snack pods for us, Kara. Um, yeah, I don't really care what country it comes from. That doesn't affect me, like, really at all. Because people all over the world are using it, no matter what country it comes from. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I really have an opinion about it, but that's, that's my response for you, Cody. Thank you for answer, asking the question. 43 people in here now. I see ya. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Even if you're not in the chat, even if you're just lurking, we're happy to have you here. I don't like anything that stifles positive creativity and frees peach. Yep. I agree. I agree, Brian. Um... We do, uh, if you wish to support the channel, we do have Super Chats turned on. If you don't want YouTube getting 30%, you can uh, check down below in the description box. Not only is my email address there, so you can email me about the cruise, or if you have questions, or if you have answers, or if you just want to call me an asshole, I mean, that's fine too. But you could also say nice things if you wanted. I'd be okay with that. I'm not averse. Um, and uh, also my PayPal is down there. The Venmo that Denver Stevo made me get. Bloss him. Um, and uh, I also have Zelle, but you'll have to hit me up an email for that. But yeah, TikTok is not what I'm concerned with when it comes to China. I agree. I agree, Daniel Sander. I think I think we have bigger fish to fry with China. Thank you, Jazzy Girl Sarah. Which one? I have many. So many colors. Um so yeah, that's uh that's what I got for you. That's my welcome. Now there's 48 people. It's amazing. Please make sure that you hit the like or the dislike, whichever you choose. I'm not here to tell you what to think. And if please check to see if you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, if you would be so kind, hit the like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. You can tickle my bell, select all notifications so you know when my random ass goes online. And I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll catch me again with my face stuffed in a bag of chips. I'm not sure that that's the reason that they took, took Jessica Palmadessa off. I'm not real sure, Artsy Tartsy. Is that the reason that she was given? Um, I had heard it was something about copyright claims because of their bullshit music. Um, can you hit it multiple times? I don't know. What's your stamina like, Daniel Sander? That's what she said more than once. Yeah, see, that's, I thought they took her off due to copyrighted music. That's what I thought as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess whether or not you can hit it multiple times depends a lot on you. 
Um, that was YouTube for copyright. Interesting. I'll have to do some more digging. Oh, Cinderella's glass slipper is off to hit the hay. Thank you very much for coming to hang out with us. Enjoy counting your sheepies. Sleep sweet. Did you see Serge's latest vid on child auditors? Disturbing. Love, he never quits. That is true. He never quits. I saw him today and he was talking, started off talking about the program. Uh, the, the documentary on Netflix about the troubled teen industry. Um, I didn't catch the whole thing. But I got some of it. You've got the endurance of a thoroughbred. Good for you, Daniel Sander. Then maybe you can. Maybe you can indeed. You've got a couple of vits about basketball and football. I got more coming soon. Okay. Well, if it's subscribers that you're looking for, post in the comments after the video. Um, because then we'll be able to subscribe just by clicking your profile photo. But put in there what what kind of videos, what kind of content you're putting up, and if people dig it, then they will they will uh, come on over and they'll subscribe to you. I'm kind of glad that I keep waking up when you're on. I am too. I'm glad that you get to join the Dirty Stay Ups. I will text tomorrow and let you know what schedule we're on. That sounds good. And I will ponder as to what kind of foods we should go and get and where we should obtain them. Ooh, shots fired. Don't need endurance if you do it right the first time. Damn. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, shots fired. Well played, Brian. Well played. Well, my beloveds, I think I'm going to go. These feelings ain't going to eat themselves. I am going to... Uh, relatively behave myself though bring the chips back to the kitchen and um make myself a buttered pb and j on keto bread because i'm hungry again oh emotional roller coasters are fun aren't they Yay! So, Zenu Marlene for the road, y'all. One for the road, Zenu. Was what at you, Artsy? Sending good vibes, ciao. Thank you very much, Brian. Artsy, I don't think it was necessarily aimed at you. It's okay. Yes, have an amazing night, day, whatever. Night, day, afternoon, morning, day, meds. Damids. Oh, no, Artsy, that definitely was not at you. No, he was he was firing back at at um Daniel Sander. It's okay. It's okay. Stand down. It was not aimed at you. Mm. 
Yep. There we go. You're actually tired for once, Mark Hardman. Yay! Your sister needs a funny song? What, like written about her, or she just wants to hear a funny song? Let me know, Jobo. I'll have my notebook with me. Oh, I'm praying I get good news from the vet in the morning. Yes. We are. Yeah, no, Artsy Tartsy, that wasn't about you at all, sweetheart. Nope, nope, nope. It was shots fired at Daniel Sander. Sleep well, everybody. Sleep sweet. Have a good day. A good night. Be safe. She needs one for her med infusions. Shit. I'm going to need more details, but, but I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Same bug time, same bug channel. And like I said, please hit that, that like or the dislike and subscribe. Check to see if you're still subscribed. Um, if you need any information, or you want to contact me, my email address is in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing Jilbo. It's going to be a good time. Peace to you.